good morning guys welcome back or to the channel in today's video we have a new hitch for the six so so y'all know on the truck i don't know uh we took it off already <laughs> a couple days ago but um had a just a generic tri-ball hitch on the truck not adjustable anything like that well we're gonna change that today so um i was actually in here working on some stuff on the laser and my grandpa came in there and said hey you just got a package in the mail uh, from FedEx. So let's uh, let's go in here. We'll crack it open, and we will take a look at the new hitch for the 6.0. All right. So here we have our new hitch for the 6.0. Now uh, I think this has been here for over an hour. I've been working on some laser stuff, uh, but either way, let me get it cracked open here and let's take a look at what we got all right guys so it is actually the next day and i wanted to confirm this before i mentioned it um i've actually been working on the laser and if we come over here it'll probably get windy but if you look through there if the camera yeah you can see my mouse over there but the camera's not going to focus on it but the laser is running if you can hear that which is a pretty good segue if you haven't checked out the Sega channel I'll put a screenshot here up on the screen and also I will leave a link down below but either way I wanted to mention on the way safe hitch that if you want to check out a way safe hitch I will leave a link down below as well in the description with my discount code and I'll also put it up here on the screen. So, with that being said, um, if y'all enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, please get on there, hit that like button, drop me a comment, and smash that subscribe button. But, anyway, let's get back to the video. All right, so here we have us a way safe hitch for the 6.0. So, this is their new arrow hitch. Now, we had talked about doing an aluminum hitch, uh, which, I might try to get in the future for like a show hitch and then polish it and everything. Make it look shiny like the wheels. Uh, but that's that's neither here nor there. Uh, well, maybe there one day. I don't know. But anyway, let's take a look. So, so far, nice packaging. I do like the packaging. Um, and here's everything. So, uh, I'll get everything out of here and uh, we will take a look at what we got all right so here we have like i said the new hitch for the six oh now um this is black powder coated which full transparency little, little chip uh, a little chip there a few little scratches but not worried about that if i really wanted to i could take this like a powder coated to match powder on the truck but if this is going to be like a work hitch, uh, that probably doesn't need to happen because then I won't want to scratch it. But like I said, uh, we might try to get a aluminum one as like a, like a show hitch type thing. Sand it, polish it out like the wheels, that kind of thing. But anyway, uh, super nice. And I will say it is a it's pretty, pretty hefty little guy here. Um, so... Like I said, give you a really nice locking pin. I don't, I think I said that. Um, like an anti-theft type thing. A regular pin, which is very stiff and should not go anywhere. And one thing that I thought was really cool about this whole deal is this is the two and five sixteenths uh, adapter. So this is a two inch ball and this is for two and five sixteenths, which get it open one-handed you can see they have magnets in here so put that over top and there you have it for your two and five sixteenths ball now this is not going anywhere um because there's kind of indexes onto the lip there underneath and like i said the magnets itself will keep it from going anywhere while you're hooking up your trailer now I wouldn't recommend, and I think that's what this warning says. I don't know for sure. 
Um, yeah, do not leave this on when you're not towing because uh, these magnets come off or come apart. This bounces off. This is a projectile uh, rolling down the road. Probably not a good thing for that, but um, that's what the warning's for. Read warning labels, folks. But anyway, uh, I'm going to grab the keys so we can get the bolt locks off of the truck. Um, and we're going to go out there, pull the old hitch off the truck, get this one on, and let's take a look. All right. So, sorry for the background noise. I tried to hold off for y'all, uh, but I know the later we go, the louder the cicadas are. But we got the hitch on the truck, and I like it. Uh, I will say, one thing I really, really do like about it is if you look from the back of the truck, it doesn't stick out a ton and this is all the way out so there's two holes on the shank uh, you can go further in than this um, which is kind of about the distance that it has there um, now yes i know what you're probably thinking that needs to go that does need to go but it's eat into the bumper so i don't really want to get rid of it because i don't have the cover for one and two it's all eat into the bumper um, and I think to take that off, you got to take the bumper off or take the hitch off, the actual receiver hitch, and then get it off because there's a nut under there. But anyway, um, the way safe hitch does look really, really nice on the truck. Uh, I like how it's nice and slim. It's not too big. You know we have aftermarket hitch on the white truck, and I love that hitch. I love the way it looks. A little, it's a little large, um, if we're being honest. But, I mean, like I said, this one does look great uh now i'm gonna look up some specs for y'all and i'll go ahead and uh, we will talk about those here in just a second okay so i went ahead and put the extra pin that they sent um no we'll talk about that in a second uh and the ball adapter in the truck uh and the keys for the locking pin i'm gonna figure out where i want to put those uh but Either way, what I did here, as y'all know, we are running bolt locks on this truck. Big shout out to bolt locks. Uh, y'all know I have their stuff for the white truck and some stuff for the blue truck. So threw it back on here and then the included locking pin on the bolt portion here. So we should be, we should be good. Anyway, if uh, anybody gets the keys to that, all they can steal is the ball. So that'll be nice. Uh, now, one thing I also wanted to mention this because this truck has a two inch shank. This hitch is rated for up to 12,500 pounds. Um, so I want to mention that if anybody was curious. And also, the scale here, as you can see there, goes up to 1,500 pounds. That way, you can dial in your load and what have you. Now, I've got it set all the way down just for, you know, for right now. Uh, you can raise them back up. These are in one inch increments, which is nice. A um, little more fine tunable than what's on the white truck, which again, I love that hitch. Nothing against those guys. Um, I just want to try something different if we're being completely honest. Uh, and like I said, this is more like fine tunable because this truck's not super tall. So this is a... Uh, three inch lift in the front, nothing in the rear, uh, factor in the rear with overload bags. Uh, you can see there. So if I wanna raise it up any, I just air up the bags, which is nice. But uh, one head went with a six inch drop. That way, if I go up a little bit with this truck, uh, we can retain that hitch and use it. Because if I go up with this truck, it's not gonna be a ton. So that's uh, something Kind of wanted to think about a little bit but either way uh super happy with the way it looks and also something else that me and my grandpa noticed is the rattle or lack thereof if we come over here to the white truck and i'm not going to show you all this hitch because this is not about that and again i'm not trying to bash these people at all i've been super happy with this hitch um, no issues with it but it does rattle. Well, 
don't know if you put pressure on it, but yeah, yeah. So um, <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of that. Now, one thing I do wish, and I'm going to talk to the folks at WaySafe, is stuff like a hitch step and things of that nature would be really nice. But on the WaySafe hitch, it has a little bit here, but there's nothing, you know, that's it in the sliding mechanism, which is, which is great. That one, the, because it's a receiver style, it has the same amount of slop there than it does down here, which is, it's kind of annoying, uh, if we're being honest. Now they do sell little things that you can thread into the side and all that, but if you need to adjust it, now you gotta get something. Loosen it, take it out, move your adjuster or your anti-rattle thing um, and all that kind of stuff. Now, I know that doesn't matter to some people, but it's kind of nice to not have your hitch just jangling around wherever. So that's, uh, that is something else I noticed. But like I said, it still has play here, which is fine, because if this is too tight, it's gonna be a pain in the butt putting this in. So, I mean, you get a little bit there, but here, very little, which is nice. So, that's, uh, yeah, I like that. So, like I said, wanted to try something a little different on this truck, and Waysafe was gracious enough to send me this hitch, uh, full transparency there, but y'all know I've said this a thousand times or more on this channel. Companies can't pay me to lie. Um, I've spent almost five years building this YouTube channel to this point today, and a little bit of money's not gonna ruin it. So, it is what it is there. But anyway, that's uh, that's it. So, like I said, I am gonna talk to them, see if I can get an aluminum hitch at some point maybe uh, down the line, because I wanna start taking this to shows more often, and if so, I think it'd be pretty sweet to either powder coat this hitch or get an aluminum one and polish it like the wheels. Now that wheel needs polished, but um, you can see like the rest of the wheels are nice polished aluminum. Thank you, KG1. But um, I think that'd be cool. So I do want to start taking the truck to shows that is in the plans. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to try to go to a Cars and Coffee that's coming up in uh, two weeks, less than two weeks. So there's that one, and then there's another one. It's about an hour from here that I wanna go to. So Conway Cars and Coffee, July 1st, if y'all wanna see the truck, uh, I am gonna try to take it out. And uh, July 8th, Russellville, Arkansas at the fairgrounds. So like I said, if anybody wants to see the truck, I'm probably gonna be there. Uh, the one on the 8th, I'm going to try to donate some stuff to because it's a benefit show. I'm going to try to donate some stuff for their silent auction through the business. So, just thought I'd let y'all know that. Uh, and we're going to have some videos coming up. We're going to get this thing cleaned up nice. Uh, get the wheels polished. Or, I say that, I'm going to polish the wheels. Uh, but, need to get it cleaned up good. I uh, need to polish the wheels. I have some decals or some vinyl I'm going to make some purple decals to replace the blue and uh, that kind of thing. Wish I had time to tint the windows, but I don't have enough time for that. So we'll uh, we'll get to that at some point though. But anyway, guys, I think that's gonna be a wrap for this one. So with that being said, I will leave a link down below in the comments for Waysafe if you wanna check them out. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all enjoyed today's video or find it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. Smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everybody has a great day.